ерхэр атар та хамтраг хүмүүс хүн төслөм зэм байдаг яга тэгэхээр хүмүүс хүн төслөм зэм багаас бас тодорхой хэмжээний төслөм ч дэмжлэгийг үзүүлэхээр юм төлөвлөж байгаа бидний сүм өнөөдрийн юм олгож байгаа энэ төслөм зэм баруун материал нь ерөнхийдө бол урдчилсан тийм юм бэлтгэр бэлэн алэйд одоо хангах тийм баруун материал байгаа юм аа энэ also the um, because of the scope of work of ENFPA we provide support to women and girls uh, not uh, necessary agriculture and other areas but we hope this is useful you need to manage no big one is something we said to come in a camera for an actually you stay to talk to the students in the crowd if that was never it means that who need camera for stay at the time but I need to have to have to who could be to do that was not the issue that you know I'm just going to go on which is not the issue that you know I'm just going to go on which is not the issue that you know тахны сэргийлж байгаа юм одоо тусламж тусламжийн бараа бүтээгт хүний улсын үзлийн хүмүүсийн тусламжийн газар гэж байгаа. Энэ газар дамжуулаа одоо үйлчлэлт өндөрсөн амиг орон нутгад амьдарч байгаа юм шүүхдээд хүүхдүүд бол So one of the challenges uh, that uh, the head of families are facing is the lack of the uh, cash, mm -hmm. lack of the money in their hands. So uh, I'm confident that this uh, support will provide the necessary requirements mm -hmm. to the head of families. And then, you know, because of lack of cash, the head of families couldn't, uh, couldn't buy the necessary food and the necessary things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, what's the weather forecast now? Mm -hmm. um, this week is a little bit warmer, mm -hmm. but uh, I don't know how it will fall. Mm -hmm. uh, There's a very unique, unique natural conditions that mm -hmm. sometimes it covers all the territory of Mongolia, sometimes it covers in some um, areas of Mongolia. So mm -hmm. also, uh, so this heavily depends on the weather conditions. Mm -hmm. When the weather conditions worsen in the only two or three days, mm -hmm. the uh, poor uh, livestock will die, mm -hmm. will perish because of that mm -hmm. uh, harsh climatic conditions. So mm -hmm. it's mm -hmm. difficult to say. say that uh, if the weather getting uh, is getting worse and uh, the condition the soil condition may be worsened also you know mm -hmm. when it's uh, getting colder mm -hmm. the, yeah. we, we we would have the significant number of the animal patients mm -hmm. mm -hmm. that's true that's true or well, you know we really hope that it doesn't get uh, worse uh, in coming months mm -hmm. and then just gradually get the warm and warmer This is my third winter, and definitely this was the by far the coldest. Харин тийм байгаа. Ер нь бол уулзалтыг хийхэд их хүүхэн тийм үр болж байна. 
Yes, you're right. This winter is colder than the other previous mm -hmm. years. Mm -hmm. Although the winter came in late, a little bit late, mm -hmm. until November or so it was okay, but mm -hmm. suddenly it dropped. So. The unit of 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 I believe that it's because of the global warming, the global mm. climate change issues, and then, you know, uh, we are suffering from this global warming climate change, mm -hmm. and uh, this global warming climate change uh, make very um, uh, negative impacts to Mongolia. Mm -hmm. That's true. So uh, comparing with the suit situation in 2009 and 10, uh, the nowadays suit situation is very mild and mm -hmm. we have, so far we have less uh, number of the livestock perishment, but mm -hmm. it couldn't, it, it, it doesn't say that we won't, uh, we uh, won't have this um, bad uh, sort of situation, you know, when the spring comes, we, we, we're expecting more perishment, mm -hmm. livestock perishment. Mm -hmm. True. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Our regional office has done some uh, analysis on the uh, effect of El Nino oh, okay. in the Asia region. Maybe that might be also useful as an mm -hmm. analysis document. You read the person's thing, Mama Office says, El Nino is the first thing that we have to do. It's the first thing that we have to do. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning, um, Mr. Arunbuyan, uh, Deputy Head of NIMA, Colonel. Um, representative uh, Mr. Munku from the Ministry of Population Development and Social Development, media colleagues, ladies and gen gentlemen. Today we are gathered here to hand over the UNFP assistance to the NIMA authorities, which will be delivered to the Herders families who are living in Zut conditions and suffering because of the harsh climate during the, this winter. Uh, uh, 
Mongolia is in the middle of a natural disaster. We all remember that the 2010 Zut resulted in a loss of over 7 million heads of livestock. More than 16% of all livestock in the country, with devastating social and economic consequences for Mongolia's rural communities. A very dry summer in 2015 resulted in low crop yields and overgrazing, meaning that herders were unable to adequately prepare hay for winter months. This was followed by excessive rain and snowfall through the fall and extreme winter temperatures. According to the State Emergency Commission, as of 18th of January 2016, 90 songs of 20 IMAX are in a white zoo situation. As Mongolia faces this winter emergency, it is critical that the needs of women and adolescent girls are met and are prioritized. In emergency situations that create financial hardships and displacement, women and girls need basic items to ensure their safety, security, and dignity. Without access to culturally appropriate clothing and hygiene items, the mobility of women and girls is restricted and their health is compromised. Preserving dignity is essential to self-esteem and confidence and critical to protection. As gender-based violence is known to increase in emergency situations, life-saving items are also needed to help to reduce risk of harassment, abuse, and violence. UNFP Mongolia is an agency which works to protect women and girls' rights and also co-leads the protection cluster within the United Nations Humanitarian Country Team together with the Ministry of Population Development and Social Protection. UNFP developed dignity kits to address the urgent needs of women and adolescent girls for the communities affected by the ZUT. The kits contain standard hygiene items, such as sanitary napkins, hand soaps, toothbrush, toothpaste, underwear, and protection items, including resources, lights, and etc. Et A total of 120 dignity kits with 19 items were prepared, totaling around 24.4 million tugruk, which is equivalent to 12,000 US dollars. These kits will be distributed to Hada's families in affected areas through NIMA. 
Women are the backbone of Mongolian society, and we must take concrete steps to ensure their safety. Women's dignity should be protected in these situations. Working with the government of Mongolia to target, to target support to women and girls through the provision of dignity kits would help promote the health and well-being of herding communities across the country. In the future of Thank you for your attention. I'm <laughs> So now the handing of actual handing of it and signing. We will sign first. Mm -hmm. Mr. Mukhtar for um, handing over the cemetery. Um, so, 
to the head of families who are suffering from this As of today, uh, 98 sums of 18 IMAX are in a white suit condition, and 130 uh, sums of 20 IMAX are in the suit like condition. And about 40% of total head of families are living in that area. Regarding the statistics, there are 3,300 expectant mothers in the uh, Zoot affected area, also more than uh, 28,000 children and uh, 5,000 um, vulnerable groups are living in that area. Again, on behalf of the National Emergency Management Agency, I think we would like to express our thanks to the United Nations Fund for Population. And then um, I'm, I'm confident that, th that we will deliver this aid support through the State Emergency Commission to the six IMAX. And then lastly, on behalf of the herd of family special, the women and the children in that area, I would like to express our sincere gratitude to, to you and to your colleagues. Mm -hmm. Thank, you. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming. Uh, now it's a closure of the ceremony.